Uh, well, guys, as promised, this is the video of the prototype of the DigiSafe card. We have worked on this device for almost two years. Uh, it's basically a secure fault that can keep your Bitcoins and other altcoins safe and secure. But it's not just a simple hardware wallet. You can also create and send private messages. We are also working on our own blockchain that will be launched by the end of this year. And it will let you transfer your messages and files anonymously. You can also use this device to securely save your data and log in to your online accounts like Gmail, Facebook, and so on. Now, let's see how the safeguard works. For example, spending from your paper wallet, something that no other hardware wallet uh, supported till now. Uh, for example, you go to BTC paper wallet, import the BTC, uh, private key. Now we have this one, save. Now, for example, if you want to uh, save another one uh, or spend from another one, just go in there, uh, import another one, uh, scan the private keys. So, save this one. Now we have two uh, private keys. We can also create a new one. So that nobody have any access to it save this one also so we have now three uh, let's go back and this is where the magic will happen uh what we're gonna do is uh let's say uh we fuck our uh mobile phone uh having internet uh we launch the app and let's scan the qr code that you just save or generate for us let's see and these are all your public uh, addresses. So, uh, as you can see, we have zero on this one, as we just created, and the other two that I just scanned have some balance in there. Uh, let's say if I want to send something, uh, some bitcoins to this from this address to this address or anywhere else. Uh, let's say uh, I take um, this one. Be with me. Mm -hmm. One day in. Now uh, we want to spin from this one. Uh, send. If we want to send, we can then scan the receiving uh, public address and let's see. Uh, let's go with this one. Scan the receiving address. Now we have this receiving address. Uh, the amount that we want to send, we can send. So you can use the slider or just type in what amount that you want to send. Let's say we want to send two dollars. Uh, for the fees, you can also select whatever you want. Uh, within five blocks, eighteen blocks. If you uh, want to have it faster, you just select like seven blocks or five blocks. Now in this case, we don't or we are not in hurry, so let's say fifteen blocks or something. Now we need we are now going to create the transaction. It is an unsigned transaction as this device doesn't know your private keys. Your private keys are safely saved here. So we have now our unsigned uh, transaction and this need to be signed. Now, let's go back and let's go to our paper wallets, manage keys and Select whatever uh, private key that you are want to use. Uh, let's see. We have seen sign the transaction. Now, what we're going to do is scanning the QR code. As you can see, the transaction has now been signed and it's on our, our safeguard device. But it needs to be uh, broadcast to the network because he don't have any uh, connection to the outside world. There is no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, no USB, nothing. So to uh, broadcast this uh, transaction, we go here. Scan sign the transaction to broadcast. Now we can all now here uh, scan the QR code that we want to transfer. Once we have scanned it, it will create the transaction that need to be broadcast. Let's wait for it. Now, 
uh, we have our transaction that need to be broadcast so click on the broadcast oh yeah you can also uh, check the outputs inputs and see if everything is okay and once you click on the broadcast it will transmit your and submit your uh, transaction it's that easy well uh, thank you for watching and on the next video i will show you how you can uh, create a secure uh, message and transfer it